extraordinary story which has captured everyone's imagination, especially school teachers, because an incredible 41 students from a school in one of Britain's most deprived neighbourhoods have secured places at two of our most prestigious universities, Oxford and Cambridge, despite two-thirds of the sixth form speaking English as a second language. Yes, it's a remarkable tale of inspiration. And we thought, you know what, we're going we're gonna to get them on. We're going to salute and embrace what they've achieved. We're joined now by the director of sixth form for Brampton Manor Academy, Sam Dobin, and students Esther, Jeffrey, and Radita, who will speak on behalf of their fellow students, 22 of whom have made the journey of this ungodly hour. All I mean, of pretty these amazing guys around have got early. offers for Oxford and Cambridge, and that is just half. So who's going to Oxford? And who's going to Cambridge? Oh, so Cambridge is the more popular one. OK. Uh, Sam, let me ask you about this. It's... There's cards on the table, you you offer a form of selection, you interview people, you choose the best of the best in a way. I've got no problem with that. I think that's the way we should go in our country. Um, and the results have been quite extraordinary. Better um, than many private schools. 41 places. And I, you know, I've paid for my kids to be <laughs> partly educated, and they'd be very envious about these kind of results. How have you done it? Well, I think first it's credit to the students, isn't it? And they're amazing. You're sort of right about the selection, but let's be clear, these students are all Newham students, two-thirds of them from Newham. Now, some of them have only got A's and B's at GCSE as a mix, but when they're surrounded by these clever students, they do well. It's about inspiring them. We don't set limits to what they can achieve. We think they're brilliant, but if you put in front of them high-quality teaching every day, teach them to know their subject, give them that ambition, this is what they can go and achieve. Esther, uh, where are you off to? Cambridge. And what are you going to be studying? Human, social and political sciences. That's absolutely fantastic. What, tell us a little bit about your background. Um, well, I'm from Newham and I am a young carer and I decided to come to Brampton because like, I remember on the news there was just trending so much like all the kids going to Oxford and Cambridge, yeah. the ambition, the inspiration. Did you ever dream that you would do that? Has that been an ambition for a while? It has been an ambition, but I think before I came to Brampton, I didn't think it'd be a possibility, but after coming to Brampton, the way they just instilled like, this ambition into you just became like, it can be a real thing. So. Jeffrey, what's your story? Tell us how you um, came here. I'm from Kennington. Uh, I have about four siblings. Um, GCSEs, I've got a mixture of A's and B's. Um, I came to Brampton, I was surrounded by a lot of um, academically strong students who actually became my friends and just being surrounded by them every day just motivated me to, of course, um, just do well because university was always the plan. Yeah. Cambridge wasn't. So a lot, of, yeah. a lot of young people getting a bad rap these days, you know, whining snowflake types, you know, and also... You know, all sorts of crime stories ravaging the city and so on. Mm. You guys collectively are a brilliant illustration of what young people can achieve when they put their minds to it. What do you think it says about young people, your achievement? Um, sky's only the limit to those who don't realise there's footsteps on the moon. Mm. You yeah. can do a lot in life, um, no matter where you come from. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, Radita, congratulations as well. Where are you off to and what are you going to study? Um, I'm off to Cambridge to study engineering. Mm. And one of the things we're sidestepping here, of course, is that Oxford and Cambridge do not have a great reputation for welcoming, accepting, offering places to students like you, you know, the, the black and ethnic minority students. So did you feel that that might hold you back? No, I, I never felt that. I feel like um, maybe less people apply there, but then education is to yourself. So wherever you go, you can thrive through education if you have the power inside. If you have the, if you have like the will inside, and my motivation was always my mom, because she ended her education at GCSEs, and um, like many other women in my culture, they weren't like um, encouraged to pursue higher education. Yeah. So like this degree is for myself as much as for my mom and my parents. Brilliant, brilliant. You guys are a fantastic inspiration to everyone in the country. If you want to get on, this is what you need to be like. Work hard, work with other smart people. Yeah. And really, you can achieve anything. You can go right to the top. They go to the two best universities in the country. You've broken the Good mold, luck to Sam all of you. Dobin. Well done. Keep Congratulations. Going. Keep going. And best of luck to all of you at Cambridge and Oxford. And uh, my wife went to Cambridge, so at least there's some brains in my family. <laughs> uh, I didn't get them, but she did.